Just because MCP is in fashion these days doesn't mean that we have forgotten all about RAG. People are still building around RAG and in this video we are going to install this project which is Graph Code RAG with Olama based models and we will see how exactly this works. This project Code Graph RAG is an AI powered tool that helps developers understand and explore large multi-language code bases using natural language. It works by parsing source code with Tree Sitter, which is a fast and language agnostic parser that generates abstract syntax trees or ASTs and stores extracted structured in MemGraph, which is a real-time graph database optimized for complex relationship. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. I already have Olama installed and I have this Quen3 and Jamma3 models running with this embedding model but I am just going to go with this Quen3 model. If you don't know what Olama is, just go to my channel search with Olama and you should be able to find heaps of videos around Olama. I have covered it to death really. We have so many videos around Olama that it's not funny. So check it out, please. Now, first step, let's create a virtual environment with Konda. And by the way, if you're also looking to rent a GPU to run these Olama models, just go to video's description, get the link to mass compute with a discount coupon of 50% for a range of GPUs. Also, I want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Our Conda <clears throat> environment is created. Let's now git clone the repo of this project and I will drop the link to it in video's description. There are a few prerequisites which you need to have before you get cracking with this project. First up, make sure you have this Python package manager UV. Uh, latest version would be great as you can see here. Also make sure that you have Docker installed. Plus it would be always a good idea to have Git installed here. So I already have all of them. If you don't know how to install any of these, just search my channel. I already have done a very simple to follow videos on their installation. Okay, so now we have everything installed which we need. Let's install everything. So I'm just going to run this UV sync and you will also get this error which tells you that you have some dependencies which you still need to install. So in order to resolve this, all you need to do is to open this pyproject.toml file from the root of the repo in any code editor of your choice. Open that and then make sure that you remove these lines and instead of using these dependencies twice, you just need to use it once. Now I'm not sure why exactly they haven't fixed it, but uh, these are open source free projects. So really don't expect much quality control there in terms of code anyway so i have saved it let's go back to the terminal clear the screen and then let's run that sync again okay so i have run the sync again and it has given me another error i am i'm not editing it just because i want to show you that if you're also building it you should be aware that these are the issues with this repo so okay so it has failed again this time as you can see it is complaining with this for uh, around cmake and the solution to fix that is that you just install the CMake uh, with the build essentials and stuff. And you can see that it is all installed. Okay, now let's run it again. And this time UV Sync is now successful. Now let's set up our Olama model for that. First, let's um, just convert this .env.example to .env from the root of the repo. Let's go to the VS Code. And now let's set it up. So in this one, you can see that they already have given some template here. So I'm just going to use Olama in this one. Maybe I will uh, remove these LLM of Gemini and stuff. And I'm just going to keep this Olama one. And if you remember, I have this Quen3 running here. So I'm just going to replace it with Quen3 32 billion for both of these. And once the changes are done, then just save it 
and let's go back to our terminal and from here all you need to do from the root of the repo let's run docker compose and it is going to pull all these images and will install so let's wait for it okay so everything is installed let's now see it in action so what i'm going to do first i'm going to ingest a code repo so for that what i'm going to do i have just created this new repo on my local system it's a simple git repo as you can see there are a couple of script files in python and a javascript so i'm just going to test it out and in order to ingest ingest this repo in code uh, base rack all you need to do is to just run this command giving the path of the repo and it was fairly quick you can see that it has cleaned the database and then it has ingested all of the repo in that um, database with all the graphs updated and now you can start curing that uh, repo so in order to query that all you need to do is to run this from the root of the repo where you just provided the main function with the repo path and as soon as you run it it tells you that which um, model you are using it mistakenly tells you that it is using gemini but in effect it is using uh, olama based model which is quite surprising i couldn't find why i haven't set any key here but maybe this is coming from its local stuff i have no idea i have tried to debug it but it doesn't show me anything but rest assured i haven't set any api key here so we can ask it about our uh, code base so maybe i'll just ask it um which files do you or maybe which code files code files do you see in the repo and then maybe you can press enter here and it has given me the error here uh, about the gemini so it seems that it is still have some link in the code uh, to some gemini model so maybe i think it maybe it is in this graph.py or in agent agent.py so let me see if it i am able to fix the code here let me check the repo and then i will show you what exactly i fixed if i am able to fix it okay so i was able to fix it after spending around two hours so i have changed graph.py and config.py file from um their repo hopefully they will be able to fix it by the time you use it and i will also um, do a pull request on their repo so that you don't have to worry about it but now you can see that it is correctly showing me the local models here the coin 3 32 billion and all that stuff so now we can <clears throat> talk with our repo i'm just going to ask it which code files do you see in the repo and then you can just ask it and it seems that it is converting my text prompt into a tool call that lists all code files in the repo with their file paths and there you go so it has given me a very correct answer very nice and maybe i'll just ask it describe the code in main.py as what this code is doing let's check it out so you see whenever you issue a prompt it converts it and then into a tool call and then it returns us the response pretty cool so once it starts working seems like a good project to be honest there you go yeah it's not executable i just gave it as a placeholder that is true very nice and then maybe i'll ask it can you change uh, it is basically for chatting but i'll it's not a really an agentic one so maybe that won't make sense but i think the main use case is that you can talk with it you can um, use your data you can you know understand your code and then you can uh, do the ragging with your repo and just imagine if you have hundreds or thousands of different files where you just want to maybe summarize it all you want to instrument it you want to understand it better through rag or you just want to ingest it seems like a pretty good tool of course a lot of quality needed in order to fix the issues but once uh, you get it working with the local models it's always uh, feels good so that's it let me know what do you think uh, about this project if you like the video please uh, press the like button and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching